Hello everyone, this is me Farid Fana, your friend, guide and instructor in this channel. Today we're gonna look at another tool which is graph tool of your Adobe Illustrator. So let's come to your computer screen. If you're about to create some infographics for your project or for yourself and you need to give them some charts, here's your graph tool. Click on your graph tool and first of all be sure you have selected your column graph tool before selecting your graph tool you need to have some data for example let's go to excel let's write the months first jen 23 yeah this much is enough in here for example udemy skillshare ulala I think it's enough. Suppose at Udemy you have uploaded a course and you have gained $12 in January, February $16, May $24, April $7. Just give them random numbers. This is the data for which I want to create a columns in my illustrator copy this copy and go to your illustrator click on your graph or column graph tool click and drag and release it will give you a panel in which you can copy your data paste it and ok this is the data you have put to your chart and this is how it looks first of all Let's cancel this or close it. Let's come to our charts. And what should we do? First of all, go to our group selection tool. Click on this one, double click. Let's get rid of the strokes from all of them. Yeah, strokes are off. Click on it, go to your scale tool, scale it down. Hold shift so you do not lose its perspective. There are a few things you can change. There are a few things you can change in your chart. For example, let's change the colors first. Go to your group selection tool. Click on this one. Double click. And let's change its color to red. As you guys can see, we changed the color, but it didn't work because the color mode is in grayscale. Go to your colors. Here it is. If you can't find it here, go to window. Um, where is colors? Yeah, here it is. Click on this option, change it to RGB. Voila, your changes is made. Go to next one, double click on it, change its color to blue. Same, go change it from grayscale to RGB. And the last one is okay. The next thing we can see the column or the graph is overlapping the chart. Let's click on this one, right click, hide it if you can't hide it here, go to object, hide it from your object menu, go to your direct selection tool, select all of them. And Okay, let's hold shift, deselect this January and hold shift, hold shift and drag it a bit. Yeah, that's fine. We can also select all these points. Drag them too. Yeah, that's fine. Go to your object, show all so you can bring this one back. This was the second changes we made. Now we can also change the data of our graph, for example, let's change this data for doing so we need to go to object, graph and data. You don't see anything unless you have click on your chart. So now I need to change the 12, this one, to 27. Click on it, write 27, apply it, yeah. That's how you can change you can make changes in your graph of your infographic. So this is how graph tool works. 
In draft tool, you have other types as well. You have bar graph, you have stacked column graph, stacked bar graph tool, line graph tool, area graph. You can go with whichever tool suits your project. I hope you guys understood and learn something from this and apply it in your projects. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.